there, my name's Shana and I'm with the Saskatchewan Sportfish Research Group. We're out here with Mountain Man Outdoors and we're tagging some fish today. Uh, this research is done through the University of Regina uh, under Dr. Chris Summers. So we are tagging fish with these T-bar tags. They don't emit any transmitters or radio signals, they're just a passive tag. And we rely on anglers all across the province to submit the tag numbers to us and um, send us in the reports to get data. Um, so some of the things we can study by getting tag returns include um, how long fish are when they're kept versus when they're released. Um, we can also learn a lot about catch and release angling and how that affects fish long term. Whether fish are caught multiple times over their lifetime or if they're maybe only caught once or twice. Um, and then we also can learn other things such as a little bit of on their growth when we take measurements, um, the condition of fish, do um, catch and release rates differ in different water bodies and we also get a little bit of movement data. So if we tag a fish at a certain part of the lake, is it recaught in the same spot or in a different part? Um, so that's just some of the things that we are trying to learn. This program has been running for about four years now and we will continue to be tagging in the future. So let's take you through the tagging process. So the first thing that we want to do is actually give the fish a tag. And for walleye here, we tag them in the second dorsal. And the way these tags work is there's actually a T on the end. And so while I have the spines and the fin rays, but they also have a parallel set of spines that go into the body. And our goal is to anchor the tag between the two bones and then twisting it sideways so that it won't come out and it'll stay with that fish for its entire life. So what that looks like is we have our tagging gun and we're gonna pick a spine and go underneath the scale Put the tag in, give it a twist, and the fish is tagged. So this tag number is 8617. And so now that the fish is tagged, we're going to take a variety of metrics just to make sure the fish is healthy, make notes of any injuries, any tumors it may have. And this fish looks really good. So now we're going to give it a quick length. It's 41 centimeters. And so once we have everything written down, the fish is ready to be released. And it's ready to be caught by somebody else. So if you guys catch a tagged fish out of the water, uh, each tag has some way to contact whoever was the person taking it. Our tags have an email address. And so all you have to do is either write that email address down or you can also snap a picture of it. And there's a, some key information that we need um, to have a recapture report. So first of all, we need to know the lake that you caught it on, the number and what color was on the tag. So we have yellow tags, blue tags, green tags, and that number is really key because that's what tells us which fish it was in our database. So if you want to know the history of the fish, you have to have that number. The other thing we'd like to know is did you keep or release the fish? You actually can keep tagged fish. It's not against the law to keep them. Um, we just want to know whether you kept it or released it. And then also uh, the date that you caught it. And so if you guys are releasing fish, just make sure you keep the tag in that. Sometimes people accidentally think we want the physical tags back, but we actually want them to stay with the fish so we can track it over its lifetime. Awesome, thanks.